What's going on, peoples? What's up? What's <laughs> up? What's okay. up? Again. No. No, <laughs> no. again. No, Just again. one time and one time only. <laughs> That's all we need to do is wake up once. Wake up. <laughs> okay, thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's up, oh people? God. I missed the hell out of y'all. We've been going for two weeks. We back. Feeling a little sexified, beautified. Really? Feeling real good. Are you throwing up on yourself like that? <laughs> I shoot now. I can't. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, now let me stop. Chill. First of all, <laughs> you are not gonna come for my jeans and me ripping them. No, I, this time I can come for Kevin. With yes, because I <laughs> definitely pulled the you. You did. It's all right though. Yeah, they should just make an official name. I pulled the Teddy. Leave that. I teddied my jeans. You teddied your jeans. I teddied my jeans. Oh, I trend. like that. It's a new trend. It's a new trend. It's a new trend. Yes. I'm yes, with that. ready for the spring of 2015. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So he's so far into the trend, it's not even until next year? Exactly. Yes. I mean, I always kind of have been. You do that new fashion week thing. <laughs> you know. Um, but before we get in, I... Excuse me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Before we get in, we, the team, we want to thank all of our viewers, all of our listeners um, for the past two weeks. Um... Especially our radio listeners. Our radio listeners, the uh, past week you heard episodes that weren't current. They were throwback episodes. Um, we had some technical difficulties. difficulties Girl, let's, 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 let's be boom, real. Boom, 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 boom. Let, let's be real. So the reason why you guys heard <laughs> and the, and the, um, the, the throwback videos is because my family, had a, we had a house fire. And um, we lost everything. So... I had to take some time away from the tea, and you know, my co hosts, they were very supportive. Um, and we're just getting through, we're moving forward. So, yeah. Whoa, there it is. Wow. All right, y'all. So, we've been going for two weeks. Clearly, y'all know we got a lot to talk about. Clearly. Yes. So, we're going to try to squeeze this all into like one hour. I don't know how we're going to be able to do it, but we're going to have to do it. Yeah. So, thank you. Without further ado, <laughs> grab your glass, your mug, your cup, whatever the hell you got. Grab your tea. Okay. And remember <laughs> that the discretion, discretion is the key before, before spilling your tea. tea. Clank, clank. Okay. <laughs> we, we're not yes, that was right on cue. Clank. Okay, for the audience want to clank <laughs> with us. Yes. Clank, clank. I can't deal. All right, y'all. So... <laughs> We kind of caught up just a little bit with you, Diva. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Not, not just a lot. little bit. So, what, what, what the hell has been going on? Well, Ooh. I'm going to be just, like, real honest. Like, this past week, I mean, Ooh, girl, for me. Girl, <laughs> No, I'm not going that deep into it. Oh, I'm saying okay. Okay. this okay. week has been up, an up and down week. And, I mean, luckily it ended on a good note. Mm. Um, so you, you rode that real good? Yeah, I rode that real good. Surfboard? surfboard? No, no, no surfboard. No, no. Oh, girl. Um, I think she's lying. I think so no. too. Okay. It, it, was I, I heard so. <laughs> it was a dog It was a dog Yes. With that K9 and <laughs> Tim popping. But I mean, now I go back to work tomorrow to the dreadful office, but I'll see Teddy tomorrow. First of all, I didn't need you <laughs> to go there with that. <laughs> That's first and foremost. Get the hell off of me. <laughs> but since you want to throw it to me, I'll... Fine. Um, the Girl, past two weeks... He wasn't throwing it to you. Well, he just got chopped he anyway. Did, oh, okay. So, um, the past two weeks have been... Hex- oh, but were you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, Girl, okay, because if he wasn't... Wait, you, you chopped him. How you I know, was he because the only reason why he opened up his mouth... But if he wasn't done, he was still about to be chopped right then and there because I was going to tell him, oh, well, you're done now. That's just what anyway, it is. Anyway, continue. So, the past two weeks for me have been I'm gonna try to get busy. Very, 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 very busy. I've yeah, been very busy. On, yeah, it's easy why. <laughs> I've been on the move um, and just really, really banging stuff out and getting things done. When I say banging stuff out, pause on that. Okay, Girl. I don't need y'all coming for me in no type of way. We, we don't there. do no things like that. I mean, I do, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, look, um, moving on. 
You can't even clean that up. No, because... That's just messy. I mean, it has been, but That's not in that like way. Jelly. It's just been one. Anyway, what at the fuck ever? <laughs> um, so more peanut butter than jelly, probably. Yes, way more peanut butter. Been than doing jelly. that. Got a new job. Um, <laughs> since you wanted to put that shit out there, um, and let me see what else. What else? Um, dealing, you know, with light drama, but light drama, please. It's. The reality of life, pretty much. And I'm going to just leave it there. <laughs> Deva, because I was going to go a little bit further, okay. but I ain't going to. Nah, so, nah. like I said, you know, my family, we had our own real life drama, um, you know, with the house fire and everything. So, you know, I've taken some time off from work. Um, and I'm just saying, you know, if you ever or know someone who's ever had a house fire and has lost everything, bitch, it's a fucking journey. It's, it's tiring. It's exhausting. It's just, oh my gosh. I got two. So, I'm, we're, you know, things are starting to get back to normal, so I'm looking forward to, is it this weekend? For? The, the party, is it this weekend? No, that next would be week. next weekend. Oh, girl, well, damn, I'll, I'm early then. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm back to work, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't know. I have to talk about. Okay, so I got two questions. I don't want to just Uh-oh. bring up, like, a, a, a sad moment on this. Actually, no, because those two questions, I only got one question. Okay, go ahead. That, the other question I got is, Person with that I can ask you off camera. Okay. Um, y'all suing these hoes? Cause y'all need to get up, come up off them. I'm just saying. See, that is kind of personal to you. Okay. See, and so, I kind of, and, and then my my second question is also kind of personal to too. So we ain't even gonna go there. We just gonna so leave it where it's at. You can just ponder what that was. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Let's get into this spot of tea. Yeah. Grab your cups. Take a sip. Do whatever you need to do. Oh, girl, you got a lot of tea. Oh, I got, I, got a, I got a lot of tea. I'm mad this whole looking around the room talking about grab your cup. <laughs> I can't deal. All right, so the first thing is an Argentine woman dies of Vaseline. Girl, wait. Okay. <laughs> Wait, was she now that y'all ashy? know, y'all know. Yeah. I was come, she that ashy? Hold on, though. Hold on. I, I, was that a motherfucking kryptonite? Was she that ashy? <laughs> Seriously? I, I hit y'all with some crazy stuff. <laughs> Wait till no. you hear, though, why she died from the Vaseline. Because the bitch was that ashy. Argentine woman, um, her name was Sonia. She was 39 years old. Okay. She decided that she wanted breast implants. So, she proceeded to then inject her own self with Vaseline, thinking she was going to, you know, get a little push, and that didn't happen. Was it with cocoa butter? Just Vaseline, ho. That's that's it. Ain't nobody asked for no extra lubrication or nothing. It's not like she was going up in something. (laughs) <laughs> she was just getting well, stuff up in her. Something was going up in her. Technically. <laughs> Which is true. But she suffered um, a fatal blood clot in her lungs weeks after she did the injection. Well, did the injections work at least? No. Hell no. Because I'm saying, it's Vaseline. Vaseline ain't something that maintains Listen, shape. I, I honestly I, would think if you put Vaseline in anybody's titty, if you go push it and move, it's going to move, wouldn't it? Girl, wouldn't no, it just it's be like gonna, jelly? Look, it's going to go and then stay like that. Petroleum jelly, yeah, but no. Not but not nothing. When you, heat not up, spirit. when you heat up Vaseline, petroleum jelly, whatever, it becomes liquefied. Exactly. So what ship is that going to hold? None. Mm-mm. She well, has no edges. <laughs> okay, they snatched all the way back. <laughs> I can clearly tell you that the woman... Miss Sonia, she was flat chested on top of all of that to begin with. So like, so why did it she didn't do anything for her at all? But not for nothing. There is so many doctors out there that will finance your boobs. Well, obviously, she <laughs> lives in a low class area of Argentina or wherever she lives at, where she can't afford that. And she, what she could have did was get a Kickstarter. She could have got a Kickstarter. She got a or Kickstarter. They, people would have funded that. Supposedly, I mean, just if she ten cents a day, you can help this woman grow. Bro. I she watch her go from an A cup to a C cup. I, you know what? And I'm moving on. I can't. All right. So y'all remember a while back, I had came to y'all and talked to y'all about Lauren Hill and her having to pay all these taxes. 
Okay, right? yes, I remember that. Because they were trying the to whole, pass the jail. Yeah, the whole tax evasion. All right, so. She got to pay again. Hold on. Girl, you pay taxes there. every year. It's just okay. supposed to be. Maybe, do you pay your taxes every year? I'm talking about Okay, but I like how he evaded the question. You know, completely. So, Lauren Hill went to jail. She was in jail for six months. She did her time. Boom. She gets out. She a thug now. Like, what, nigga? What? What? What you say, bitch? Mm, I mean, she tried. (laughs) Don't mind me. So, two months after she got out, why the IRS hit her with more lean? No. Wait, she did her time and they still slapped him with some they more? They still slapped her with some more, but <laughs> y'all ready for the price? The overall price. Go ahead. $867,000. Girl. This is money that has been owed or she was supposed, or she failed to pay from the period of 2006 to 2011. And I think the lowest amount was like 17000 for one year. One year, her shit was like four, um, 422000 God damn. Yeah, she was up there. So, my question is, because Lauren clearly put out, um, I mean, it really wasn't a single, but she has been doing a couple of shows here and there and putting out these songs. Like she's been doing for the past 10 years or so. Where does she have this this coin at to pay this off? I mean, don't get me wrong, the miseducation of Lauren Hill that Fuji was, was bad. Long, but that the Fuji song is long, honey. She got money. She got that Fuji money. She got her baby daddy money. That she, baby daddy support money. She got that money. Um, sister act two movie. I mean money too. Okay, true syndication. Yes, popping. True. If she was smart, hopefully. Hmm. Um, but where's this money just sitting at that you got? So what are you gonna do now, Lauren Hill? Are you gonna put out an album? Girl, she gonna cry. You gonna cut your hair off again? What are you gonna do? That's what I wanna know. Too bad What's wrong with you? <laughs> Too bad she's not talking to Y Club because she's asking me to borrow a couple hundred, a couple million. For real, Y Club like, is um, doing like, big things in Africa and just like MIA did to um, Madonna with that whole lawsuit thing. Well, be MIA right? might have sued Madonna, but now no, the no, NFL is suing Ma- MIA. No, so what's up? She didn't sue Madonna. She asked Madonna. She, she tweeted Madonna. Madonna, hey, loan me sixteen million dollars. Oh, well, obviously she didn't get it. Of course not. And the NFL, I think, is suing her for 5.5. 5. No, 16. Oh, it is 16. It's, wow. it's the exact amount that she asked Madonna for. Yeah. No, oh. I think it was like 16.5. Oh. Or 16.3. Like See what happens when you stick your middle finger up? Not going to happen. Um, Not in my house. All right, no, so no. Chris Brown pretty much feels like he's a caged animal. Just take your no, ass No, he to jail. is. He ratchet smelling. Now, his if y'all know... sweaty. How do you know his balls sweaty? Because all he can do is read a book... And work out. His balls are sweaty. Honestly, only because you went there. Because <laughs> he only take one shower every other day. Only because you went there. Just as long as he don't drop the soap. I think Girl, you can't talk Chris Brown nobody. balls never dropped. Girl. I think he, he has peanuts. Only for the simple fact. No, not the cat. No. Shut up. <laughs> only for the simple fact. Every award show that he's performed in... Lately, at least for the past few years, he got on the skintiest of the skintiest jeans. And everybody done seen his print. Girl, they done seen the print. I want to keep the comments in my Oh, there's that picture where you see the whole thing. Exactly. So... No pants involved. I know you've seen that picture. He might feel like a caged animal, but what is he doing inside the cage? (laughs) 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 I'm scared. Um... (laughs) But, all right, all right. Chris Brown is in jail. Um, he's under solitary confinement until April 23rd. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a lot. He got a whole month to go. So. Exactly. <laughs> so, he said that he feels like he's a caged animal. He said that this is the worst experience of his life. He needed it. And he says that he'll never fucking do it again. No, excuse me. He'll never fuck up again. But it's also been reported that all he does is work out and write music. Now, yes, I do feel that Chris Brown needs to prove that he won't ever do it again, but I don't think that he means what he says, only for the simple fact, you're confused about your music. One minute, you want to say, okay, I'm going to put out X, and X is going to be my last album. And then the next minute is, you want to pull a Jay-Z. And, but you're no one's encore. No one asked you to come back. No one stood up and clapped for you and gave you a hurrah. I'm just saying. So, Pause. for you to backpedal about your 
career. Who's to say you're not going to backpedal in your personal life? Well, I mean, listen, it worked for Paris because, you know, she was, you know, real wild, real crazy. She went to jail that one time and the bitch has been straight ever since. That's because she got that cash money, young money, baby. She got all that right now. So, but Chris Brown is, I mean, he affiliated with them, but he not on a label. He would swear he was, though. Exactly. As much as he rap. Well, that's what he's doing? Air quotes. I don't know. I don't care. Honestly, Chris Brown, I would just much rather you just get your life together and stay out the public eye. If you want to dance, become a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. And let that be that. Become a judge and no more music. And the world will be fine. They'll get on All right. So, Fasia Parks and Apollo from Real Housewives of Atlanta. It looks like they really might be getting a divorce. Girl, from that last episode, they look like they need a divorce. Okay? Because that, upset. look, I don't watch that shit, but girl, that's now, what seen. <laughs> if y'all don't know, we gonna catch y'all holes up. Real quick. Very quick. Phaedra Parks and Apollo have been going through marital issues. Mainly, it started out with Kenya Moore when they went to Anguilla. And... Um, you know, Apollo was touching on her butt and they falling into the pool together and they flirting, yeah, yeah. Then that translated into them that they stayed in the same hotel in LA and she presented him with some act of fellatio that she wanted to perform on him and he said, no, it didn't happen, boom, boom, boom. Then it fast forwarded to them girl, text messaging. Girl. So... It she wanted to slob that knob. It happened. Let me tell you something. I honestly think Apollo fucked Kenya, and I think oh, he, he, he and he I think most, he, he most twirled did. and twirled and twirled the <laughs> fuck out <laughs> of us. I really, really do. Only because Apollo just looks like he is that nigga. Mind you, you have to keep in mind he's been to jail. So yeah. He's so that nigga. trust and believe. If he got that Kenya puss, he would. Oh, and that Kenya puss. Oh. <laughs> Knocking that bitch out the park. Mm-hmm. Standing ovation? Out of Phaedra's park, to be exact. Because Ooh. they about to get a divorce. Supposedly, Phaedra cannot deal and tolerate um, with his his past and his legal troubles. She's saying it's too strenuous on, on her life and for her to handle. But not for nothing. That episode last week was just straight up disrespectful. She was like, okay. It was hella disrespectful. Oh, you talking to this bitch? Oh, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. Let's go home. And she left, and he stayed there, and she was definitely just dead ass sitting in front of the it was a hotel, right? In front of the hotel so door because she didn't have the key. key. Then he he did come oh. a few oh. minutes later to check on her, and she was like, "Well, I'm ready to go. I'm tired. Mm. You know, I don't want to be there no more. I'm ready to go to bed. Let's go to bed." And she, she was like, "No, um, mm. I'm not going to bed." So mm. she was like, "Well, mm. get you no know, go. Can you go get someone to get the key?" Mm. And she's like, "I'll get someone, but." They'll bring it to you. And you better it. say and she because you know he is she. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he went back to the party to go hang out with Kenya. Now, let me tell you something. Now, what man does it to his wife? If I was Phaedra Parks, oh, good God, a mercy all, if she, I was Phaedra Parks. Because she was saying she had to go pee. That pee would have left out and have been tied no more coming back down there and in his face. Wow. That should have been in her face first. Apollo face. would not have had the chance to walk back to that party if my name was Phaedra no, no, see, no, no, see, what I understand what happened because the bitch was sitting there and she was shocked. She was dead ass. I was like, oh, did this nigga just? Did he just leave like, me here? How would that be? Like, would you yeah. be shocked if your man, if you and your man are on vacation and you don't have the key and you're ready to get into the room and he want to go back to a party that he's flirting with someone? You gonna sit in front of that fucking door no. and wait for somebody to bring a First key and be off, okay with the situation? But fuck the fucks <laughs> out of here. <laughs> No, no, but I'm like, whipping his ass right then and there. From nigga, the go get the my party. key. And when you come back with the key and we get back in this fucking hotel room, I'm whipping your ass some more. Who the fuck you think you is talking to me like that, Tree? Okay. okay. Woo! Oh! Bring it down. Bring it down. Because that's bring, serious. Bring it down. Wait, you is bring, rage. Bring it down. Let me take a sip. sip. No, just, and go. Just go. Go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's gonna you come go. out of his nose. Ooh. But yeah, like, no, who do you think wait, you are? Inside voice, bring it down. Who does Apollo think he is, though? That's just what but I want to know. I think he is Apollo. I think Apollo really, really thinks because 
Ooh, all the way. Apollo, you have the light skin complex. And let me tell you that. Wait, wait. Oh, this is coming God. from you. This is coming from me. This is, this is coming from the light bright. This, this is coming from the light bright. And okay. I can say this because I, I once upon a time had it myself. Okay. You have the light skin complex. Yo, bitch ass think just because you like, you the hottest piece of shit walking the face of this fucking earth. And you think just because you got a cute little mm, 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 body, you the shit. He does have a nice body, though. I'm I mean, just he does. Girl, that body and he got, fat, he got a He got a, he got a yeah, nice fatty, no, too. He got a fat ass. Uh, he do. A nice fat, fat but ass. But... Ooh, when girl. you treat a woman the way you you treated your wife no on national television, you're nothing but a straight up disrespectful ass pussy. Bitch. You're no one's oh. man. See, I would have said douche, but okay. Nothing. I thought he was gonna say bitch. Fuck a bitch. Cause you could call anybody a bitch. Bitch, you a pussy. I went like that. Okay. And phase your hurry up and divorce his ass and get the fuck away from him. And that concludes your spot of. Key work, girl. That was cute. That was a cute ending. Okay. <laughs> DJ Eddie, what's going on in these ones and twos and these? Okay, let's girl. Right I'm in the mode. I need your energy to be up yeah, there. Like After this that? one, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on and just take this to a brighter note and just say that I'm gonna start with Miss Keisha. Where's my fish plate, Cole? Okay, her new five song. Five yeah, five dollars with fish and grits. Yes, I, want, I want whiting. You got or, hot sauce? I want hot whiting sauce, wheat, tar- with tar- hot sauce, tar- sauce and everything. Okay. Yeah, her new Ooh, song. Yes, next bitch. time. <laughs> she has this. I mean, I like this feel of this song. This song is like it, it's it's a more better Keisha. Because I'm not really a Keisha Cole fan. After listening to this, I will listen to Keisha Cole. Is it love, good or is it like it's? What's that other song? After her, her no, because I just got into her other song, I Choose You, so it's similar to that. That's oh, the kind of feel. Pokemon? Anyway. <laughs> I Choose You, bitch. Okay. Go ahead, Pikachu. Do you think? Pikachu! <laughs> anyway, moving on to Ray J featuring Tiger and French Montana. Hey there. No, Hey Love. Oh, my Girl, bad. Girl, Hey Love. Hey okay. Love. I don't it's have nothing to say. It's, it's very dry. dry. All it was was a dry. remake. Okay. It was... Not for nothing. At Bye. first, when it first came on, Bye. I thought it was going to be like one of them hardcore, you know, like rap songs. Yeah. And then Ray I just, J's not then really a sudden, rapper. I was like, what the hell? Ray J, first of all, Ray J is not really a rapper. He barely sings. And he's been off of the music scene for quite some time doing this Hold on, don't do Ray J like that. I mean, come on. Because um, okay. if I had one wish, excuse me, one wish by Ray J... I honestly can say that is his best yeah, song. Yeah, that's, that's, that's his, his best song. Best song. That, if you ask anybody who Ray J is musically, they're going to say Brandy Sister. No, they're going to say the girl, the, the boy who made Kim Kardashian's family famous. Dick Ooh, and all. That too. True. True. Because <laughs> he hit first. He hit it first. Mm. Kanye so. tight. <laughs> still. He ain't tight now. He got that cover. Girl, he's still tight. Okay. And speaking of being tight, Deshaun, we talking about your girl again. <laughs> Ashanti featuring Beanie Man, First Real Love. Now, this has an old-school reggae beat. I cannot think of the rhythm to it, but it has an old-school I'm going to need you to just yeah, say it in Czech and American. Now, that's not your Jeff, a Jeff American. Okay. Well, but anyway. A rhythm. A rhythm, well, not a rhythm. A rhythm. Say rhythm. Okay, a but rhythm. you're American, so you need to say like an American. <laughs> just saying. Yes, I'm going up. But anyway, I mean... For anybody that does not listen to Ashanti, right now, Beanie Man is pretty much helping her career with this song because a lot of people will listen to this. Let me tell you something. Girl. Okay. Here comes the read. Okay. For you to just make a statement like that is completely, completely grotesque. (laughs) Just for the simple fact, how the hell could you think people gonna listen to this song because of Beanie Man? First and foremost, Ashanti sounds like a strung out cat that just got hit by a fucking car and is now getting skin to be cooked for that good old sesame chicken. Come that's what she that's what she sound like. She sounds like she's just strained. No shit, I do want some change for now. <laughs> Her voice on this no, song is actually a good Listen, song. this was an experiment I mean, and I like Shanti don't ever do too. it again. Okay. So I'm gonna bring the Beyonce clause into this. So let's think back for a second. Let's go back to O3. Didn't Beyonce do a song with a reggae artist when the first single wasn't like doing 
as well. Whoa. Wait, so, wait listen. Oh, see, you're going to get him mad now. Wait a <laughs> second. When the first single wasn't well perceived. Okay. Now. Now, this, the, Before, we, know, we do know that Crazy in Love blew the fuck up. Okay. It's super crazy. Because I was going to address that, but I don't need to address that. Okay. Because cause I... Yes. Now, this is what I am going to address. Mm. Yes, that may be true. However, Mother did not get on that track trying to sound like she was Jamaican. Ashanti is on this track singing like she got a cute little Jamaican flair and her bones. <laughs> Bitch, you from Glen Cove. Go sit... Down! I'm gonna just. I'm gonna need you to bring, <laughs> yeah, it, all bring it all the way down. Because that song pissed me off. Really? Yes. You just like that song. Very I much? all the way did. Nothing. The Beanie Man did nothing for me. Ashanti's lack thereof of a voice on that song clearly did. You nothing really got for an opinion me. this week? Oh, I'm over. Shit. Bitch, we've been going two weeks. I'm the mouth. <laughs> I got a lot to say. So moving and on, I'm to someone who has been missing in action, Maya, do it. <sighs> Now, not for nothing, I've always liked Maya. I like Maya more than I would like Ashanti in the first place, but this song, I really did dig for Maya. Not for nothing, I forgot all about Maya. Okay, because I can believe I got all about this bitch. Because when you, when, when when you played it earlier, I was dead ass dead like, yo, who the fuck is Maya? I cannot remember who this fucking bitch is. <laughs> oh, that's where you went. That's why I was like, who the fuck is Maya? My love is like, whoa. Y- yes, and that's what I played in my head. I'm like, okay, I, yes. Okay. okay, well, y'all gonna be mad. Because you don't okay. even know who my is now? No, I Wasn't heard even... the first 45 seconds of the song. After that, I can't even tell you what the hell the song sound like. I don't know what the song, what they was talking about. It was not memorable. No. It, 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 it didn't at all. Last I it know at some point you're going to hear it again and you're going to be like, okay, I like this. I know you. In other words, that equivalates to no airtime, no video. No money. Go back to the studio. Let's there, do this okay. again. There might be and a video, but it's gonna be very low budget. Maybe. I mean, not for Maya, because Maya always bring it to you video wise. What label is she on? Oh, now Ooh. exactly. Low budget. Oh, okay. um, because she's going to pay for it for, for pay for it herself. She's going to pull on a shot. Maya got it. Yeah, but Maya true. got a cute little coin. Uh, More than a shot. Oh yeah. That much because. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Deshaun, I'm sorry that I went in on, <laughs> on your girl like that. I'm just saying. Leave your comment Ooh. underneath. Anyway, last but not least, of course, you know I always have something for those reggae fans, and I know you love the hell out of this song, Teddy. RDX Bad Gal Wine. That. <laughs> all I can say is, <clears throat> just listening to this song, I already see shit happening in the club already. Girl. I see Watch Andrew video. I see and happening. Julius and all of them. I can see this shit blowing up right now. It's going to be a fucking Jamaican whirlwind when this song comes over. Labor Day! Oh, and this one over here was just going off in the corner the first time he heard it. God, did I do a head top on the bed? Yeah. He did a head top on the fucking oh, bed. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wow. And yeah. I saw Kevin doing a little twitching in the corner when he heard it. You too. didn't see nothing. Twitch, twitch, you twitch, saw nothing. Twitch, twitch. I was sitting here, minding my business. Giving a cute hand. Nothing. No, no hand. Um, no. No hand performance. Stop it. No cake performance either. Ooh. Mm. Mm. No, no performance. You're dropping it like it was not. I can't deal. <laughs> so, so, Diva. Moving on to fashion, Diva. Well, it's time for fashion. That it is. That special time of the show. So, um, you know, being that, you know, we're fresh out of that horrible, dry ass... Wait, 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 I was going to do something, but forget it. Winter. Um, I figure we start with, like, the spring stuff. Like, let's get ready for spring. Let's, let's, let's spring it's it It's spring, up. though. Girl, it ain't really spring. Girl. I mean, technically, girl, by the was, date. Girl, it was 42 degrees today, and it's going to be, like, 40-something degrees tomorrow. Nice. And it might snow girl, on nice. Tuesday. Girl, okay, Tuesday, that nor'easter shit. Winter is a being a bitch. Ain't nobody got time for that. But um, I want to talk about the spring 2014 sunglasses. You know, the tre- what was trending this year. So Gucci has stepped up their game like they always do. Um, they introduced a pair of 24 karat gold aviators. Mm. Now this is for you know that chick or that nigger or AKA my get money people because these frames. Are valued at eleven fifty. That's one thousand one hundred fifty dollars. 
That's about I could get the macho. Years. No, they're cute though. I could get they're the really macho. Cute. Um, you see stars like um Jennifer Lopez wearing these, and they are they're they're aviators, so they they fit pretty much every face shape, and they're definitely great. They're definitely great for your face. You about to say sneakers. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> Cause you know, cause you know, it is. I was in the mall earlier, and I seen these sneakers, and I kind of want them so bad. But did yeah. you, sidebar, did you get into the store with Fifty Cent? Girl, no. I was in the th- girl. He was in my store. But didn't you say you wanted to go get some sneakers or something? No, I didn't go into that store. Okay. He had his shit locked down. Oh, okay. Um, the next pair of frames I want to talk about are Porsche designer aviators. Now, this is for the person who wants to upgrade their aviators because yeah. the. <laughs> <laughs> the Porsche aviators, really? they are a modern twist to the, the aviators. You know, there's a lot more piping. Basically, think more of the, the tailpipe of, the, of a Porsche. A Porsche. Sorry, I'm saying it wrong. Um, the next pair I want to talk about is the Mew Mew or Mimi. Um, okay, I thought Mew Mew was a giraffe. These are for the <laughs> these are for the retro kids. Um, these oh, are. Oh, sorry, I can go back. The Porsche aviators are a very good steal at five hundred dollars. And then the um Mew Mews are three thirty five. That would be for the ratchet. Because the ratchet can't get the coochie no. eleven hundred. No. They I'm gonna gotta go get for the, the Mew Mews. Hold yes. on. The Mew Mews is the Michael Kors version. There you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um the next pair I want to talk about are Prada. Um Prada has a forty nine millimeter retro um, That sounds like a god. Yes, girl. <laughs> Um, retro shades. These are for the sophisticated I'm retro third. kids. So basically, these are for the retro kids that have just a little bit more money than you know the, the ratchet retro kids. Oh, okay. Because these are three sixty five. Oh, so it's a, it's a thirty dollars. It's, it's a thirty dollars oh. difference. Um, the next pair I want to talk about is Lay Specs by Rude Boy. Um, these are a steal at seventy nine dollars, and these are for the broke hipsters because you know the hipsters they don't really have money like that. So, just saying. But also on the flip side, because you can also, it's also for the trendsetters, because, you know, sometimes you're on a budget and you want something that's different that no one else has. Which is true. And that, $79 is a good entry point right there. Looking um, their way up to that 1150 Girl, that's a long way from 1150 Um, Very The next person, the next thing I want to talk about in its fashion is Miss Lala Anthony. See, now, I did not know this about Lala. Um, apparently, she has joined the bandwagon with all the other celebrities and has her own cl- clothing line. Um, the clothing line is called Fifth and Mercer. Twerk. Yes. Um, and the name comes from, uh, the name Fifth and Mercer com- signifies the intersection of luxurious Fifth Avenue and the edginess of Mercer Street. Um, I'm trying to think where Mercer Street is exactly. Mercy is no, in... No, Mercer. Mercer, excuse me. Yeah, Mercer. I, um, if I am correct, Mercer is in Soho. That's what I thought. Um, so basically, this this is making this makes her brand very classy, but yet edgy at the same time. And a couple of pieces like went on the website, um, and a lot of the pieces are very athletic inspired. Like they have like basic um, striped pants, uh, a zip up skirt, simple t-shirts. Um, but then also that they have um, jazzy printed blazers, so mm. you can step out for the night with that. Um, and it's men. Or just just women's uh, only women's. They have silk we jumpsuits. Know you love the blazers. And she you no, know, because you know Lala loves her jumpsuits, and um, so they have a lot of silk jumpsuits. They have fringe dresses, and for me, the the piece that stuck out the most, mm. not just because of the color, but just because it was it was different, a bubblegum pink leather coat. And okay, I can see that. Yeah, it, it's really cute. It's really really girly. Um, the line, it's like I said, it's very classy. It's also edgy, so you can go. There's like a lot of day to night pieces, a lot of strictly for the club pieces. There's a lot of just chilling pieces. So it's, it's a lot of things. Um, the price ranges, though, they're not really in the the cheap range, but they're in the Molly price range. So like I seen like a lot of eighty nine dollars, of ninety dollars, but then there was a couple of two and three hundred dollar pieces too. Um, and to check out some of her fashions, go to shop. Bop. dot com. That's s h o p b o p. dot com slash fifth dash mercer. Therefore, the girls that live in the projects, throw your stamps for a month. You might be able to get some of her clothes. <laughs> there you go. Just make sure you get the right exchange on your stamps, though. Okay. Okay. Can you know, Only one hundred eighty nine dollars a month. Girl. Some of them don't get that. Yeah, some of them. Don't get some that. of them got eight, twelve kids, and they getting eight, nine hundred dollars. And some of them get thirty dollars a month. Okay. I know some that's only getting fifteen. Oh, girl, really? 
What the hell is the point? That is three sandwiches. If that. <laughs> and no drink. No drink. Drink water. Okay. Um. So the last thing I want to talk about for fashion is spring 2014 dress trends. Because let's let's be real. Winter has kicked your fucking ass up and down the fucking street. Okay. So you need to just come out and show winter yeah. like no bitch. Show I'm out. not taking it lying down. So the first trend I want to talk about is a pencil skirt. Um, basically, this will make you an instant lady. So you thoughts out there, listen up, get a pencil skirt, okay? That will soften you up a little bit. Um, if you want to take it a step further, with that pencil skirt, add lace to it, add lace to it, or even crochet. It's very, very youthful. Crochet? Crochet, bitch. Crochet. 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 Um, it's very youthful, <laughs> um, it's an, and it's another way to update that trend. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is a chevron pattern, basically the V pattern for the girls who don't know what a chevron is. Um, this is, and what you can do, you can either get a chevron dress or a skirt, um, because this slims you, and it gives you like a girly look. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is ruffles, but designate the ruffles only to the sleeveless part of the shoulders. This way, it's, it gives you, think, ocean out. Girl, you'll see the picture okay, later on. Mm -hmm. um, Ruffles is not cute. This, see, but, okay, you, I should have showed you the picture first, but it's okay. They've, they've seen it, though, you'll know later. Okay, they'll love it. Um, Tribal yeah, Prince is another trend that is good. It's a carryover from last season. Um, mm -hmm. It's something that's, like, definitely a day look, not really a night look. If you try to do it at night, you gotta, like, really think about other accessories to dress it up, but it's a good trend for the day. Um, the next trend I want to do is polka dots, um, because polka dots are a timeless trend. Um, and to yeah. update this look, think floral polka dots. Think, like, you know, flowers are in a polka dot design. Okay, because I was about to say, that's going to be much. <laughs> a woman walking down the street with a floral dress on and polka dots on the dress. You <laughs> have some nerve to be talking. Excuse we can just, me? We can just go through some of our videos. Excuse me? And just, just go through. First of all, excuse me for being very, um, what's the word? What Vibrant eclectic. and possibly eclectic and possibly flamboyant with my loud speaking colors and choice of my fashion. Excuse me? I do things that most people wouldn't do because probably they can't do it. Yes, I said it. I'm just saying. And just like you said that, <laughs> someone can do the <laughs> same thing I just said. Okay? <laughs> Have a second. Um, what did I leave off? Um, oh, the next dress I want to talk about, the next trend I want to talk about is a cutout dress. Now, this is this will make you sexy without being a thought or a not. Okay? You <laughs> Dark nigga over there. Okay. Got to your um, Another trend I want to talk about like is the, uh, black and white. <laughs> because you can never go wrong with black and white. Black and white is classy. Basic colors. Um, black and white is timeless. Yes. You can never go wrong everything. with that. That's a day look. It's a night look. You can go out. You can go to work. You can go okay. to wherever. You can go places with it. Um, another trend I want you to look for is a square neckline. Um, again, this is sexy without being a thought. Okay. Um, another trend is three-quarter sleeves. Um, this can go from the office to cocktail with the girls. So okay. it's a, a day-to-night look. Um, a great trend, and this is for 90% of the body shapes out there, um, is the goddess look. Um, basically, with this trend, you want to make men worship at your feet. Don't step on them, though. Just make more worship at your feet. Also, it's all about the booty. Yeah, it's all about the booty. All about the booty. It's all about the booty. Yeah, because okay. with the goddess, you know, it, accentu it accentuates okay. the important parts. Okay. Mm. Um, How do you do it? Now, I this trend I personally don't care for, but on the right person, it will work. Um, the checker pattern. Um, think 60s. Think mod. Um, and, to, and even with this, think Little House on the Prairie Realness. Yes, because you know. Why do you sound like you're ready for a ball? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a it's a nice thing for. Yeah, better right come walk for your category. Um. So the next thing I want to talk about no. is the peplum. Um, this is another trend that's carried from last year. It's gonna be around for a while, so if you don't like it, get used to it. You're gonna see it again. Um. We also have the sheer overlays. This is another fun 
fun, flirty look. Um, it can be for work or play. A little more play than work, but yes. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you having a moment? Oh, just one more guy. Oh my gosh. I gotta watch it on playback then. Um, another trend is the embroidered dress. Um, this is a great way to make a monochromatic dress look more high-end than... A what? Dress. A model what? Monochromatic. Oh. oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you said it so fast. So fast. Well, girl, you're not listening fast enough. I thought he said up. this is the way you can make a modified dress. <laughs> no. This is why I was like... Um, it just, it's a basic way to make, like, you know, a single color. Apparently, you guys don't know what my name is. Well, um, dare you not come for the <laughs> uh, dress look more high-end than what it is. Um, and then the last trend in, because it's spring, is a floral print. You know, because like I said, the winter was horrible. I know you're just I'm tired as fuck. Step out your floral print. And that's it for Kid Fashion. Ew. Wait, 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 wait. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. You and your mew, mew? Mew, mew. All right, y'all. I know that was a lot of tea to take in. I need to sit myself oh, ever so strong. graciously because it's about to get spilt for real. So, before we get into this tea, Girl, take your sip. Thank you. Take your sips. I can't with this one, though. Take your sips, everybody. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead, take a sip, take a sip. Alright, so the tea for this week. The tea for this week is... Is entree and maybe some dessert. Do I want some dessert? I don't know if I want to buy you dessert, maybe. I don't even know if I want to buy you an entree. Girl, you okay. are not dessert material for me. <laughs> you may not even be entree, but you may be an appetizer. Mm, not even. If that. You made me want to throw up. Oh. <laughs> I can't, because that, that just sick My stomach me. is not. Pretty much, with modern day dating, why is there so, so much of an emphasis on sex? If you have the entree, why you need the dessert the first night, too? Yes. Or why you need the dessert in the first two hours? Like, and forget all about the entree. Okay? Because clearly you all you did was come for the dessert. Mm-hmm. But why Why in today's world, in today's society, do y'all think everyone is just so more focused on having sex than actually having a relationship and building something with the person that they're interested in? Well, first and foremost, we live in an instant world. Where we have to have it right here, right now. It's gimme, gimme, gimme. I want, I want, I want. True. So that's part of it. Okay. That's a large part of it. It's a major part of it. Okay, so... And y'all, y'all flow with me when I say this. By y'all saying that and agreeing upon that, are you trying to imply and or say that most of America, I guess you could say, is greedy-ass motherfuckers? Of course. Yes, girl. Yes, very much so. Clearly it is, because we got a lot of obese motherfuckers running around here. Girl. So, um... Their stomachs are too big for their eyes. Girl, their eyes are too okay, big for their eyes. Okay, thank you. What the... F- you is backwards what as hell. What is he saying? Backwards as hell. Take your backward ass... Th- don't blame it on the girl. Ooh, don't blame it on the girl. Um, don't sit... No more. I'm about to take some of your tea. No, you don't need it. Um... You might, you might but... <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> you I agree with fun. that. I definitely agree with that. And I think, yeah, they're greedy. But why? Why Why do we need to be greedy? When everything else is instant. Everything else is easily accessible. Is this okay. to be seen as a challenge, possibly? Because we get everything else so easily that well, we I figure could we that. could just get the dessert, too? We, we could take a little... Bite well, out see, the cookie. There is no challenge because it's just offered one, two, three. Exactly. And I'm going There's off of no what chase. Kevin said. How is it offered? I'm going off of what Kevin said, how everything is so instant. It's instant gratification. If you think about all the apps that we have Thank now, you, bitch, because I was going there. Thank you. Everything is right then and there. You can see somebody that may live in the same building as you, around the corner, up the street, down the block. And in the same room as want, you? And they want it right then and there. So, everything is going to be instant. 
You but live no. in an interesting world. Well, if that's the case, just be, just be, and and come to terms with yourself. And, uh, and if that, if you're going down that road, just come to terms with yourself and just be a whore. Just be the hoe that you are and own it. Don't ask do nobody stuff? for no none of their entrees. And specifically say, I want your desserts between the time of 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. And that's it. And we'll move the fuck on. But not for nothing, too. It's not even just that, too. It's also social media. Because not for nothing. Um, I know, of course you know, you have, we all have Facebook. And I know on your timeline, just based off, you know, probably who you follow, you see a lot of smut shit. Oh, of course. A lot and of smut and thought shit. Yes, a lot of time to stop shit. And that right there plays a part in why sex is such a intricate part of, you know, modern day dating. Do you follow me on that? Or I, I get what you're saying. I do. And then some people want to try the dessert before they even get to the entree. Yes. or They I, want to test drive it. Yes. Okay. Or they want to take the car around the block as many times as they can before they decide they want to, they decide they want to buy before, it. No, before they lease it. Mm, yeah, they don't right. even want to buy it. They don't want to buy it. They want to lease it. You know, Lisa, for yes, about six months, you know, okay, I they, have my they time. Put, they don't put their personal plates on it. They just want to put the, the dealer plates on it for a second. Exactly. Mm. Okay, Do so... Do a trade-in. Oh, shit. How to let me upgrade. Um, <laughs> girl, sometimes not even upgrade. Sometimes it's a downgrade. Okay, sometimes you go back to just buying a used. Mm-hmm. Interview. And, uh, and some of them are very used. Okay. Interviews. Okay. Huh. So many holes in them. Ooh. Ooh, some of them, <laughs> the, their power windows don't work. Ooh, <laughs> speak to me, Lord. Ooh. Airbags don't work. Ooh, Jesus. You know, when they take off, sometimes shit comes up the back of the exhaust. Okay. And you know, just talking about that, that's making me think of the car that we had last year when we went to... Please, let's not go yeah. there. Anyway. That's what it's like. <laughs> um, okay, so... A rental rack. I mean, I kind of get what y'all are saying. As far as... It being instant and all that, but when did it change? Did it change when the computer, I guess, was introduced to us, or the internet was introduced to us, and we were able? Honestly, do you know? Do you know exactly when it changed? When ASL was in effect. You better go for ASL on AOL. And for mo- the, if got- y'all don't know what that is, ASL back in the day. First, if you we, had- first we just dated ourselves first. Of right. All. <laughs> If you had AOL back in the day, you know, you went into these little chat rooms or whatever. And, and the first thing you said was... A-S-L. Age, sex, location. location. You so right. That's the very moment. You right better be inquisitive. There, it changed. <laughs> yes. That's when the game changed. That's sure enough to true. That is true. Because, I mean, because then, you know, it was only just words you could say. And then somewhere along the line, you were able to upload a picture. And huh. then from there, it just ran amok. Huh. Video chats and everything else. Okay, so what we need to do then is we need to somehow, I guess, get in contact with Microsoft. Because Microsoft are, is the one that invented AOL, correct? I think so. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we need to um, fuck all the execs up. Girl, well, half of them is dead already. Okay, that makes it easier for us. Don't take that um, to heart, though. Just in no. case if any of those no, girl, execs show up. We're just talking okay? shit. Okay? Y'all will not shit. come for us and be trying to put us, the, the Chanel bracelets on us. Jail is not for us. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, sir. Huh. But, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, um, what color greens? Nah, See, don't get this one started. No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Yeah, I started. Anyway, I just don't understand why... But you know what, too? Another aspect as to why sex is such a, you know, what is it? An emphasis? Why there's so much emphasis on modern, on sex and modern day dating is because, okay, people do want to get married. Not a lot, but people do want to get married. But, you know, back in the day, you used to save yourself for marriage. Mm -hmm. And then you end up in a marriage that, like, okay, you, you like the person, but they can't please you the right way. So you're like, okay, crap, you know, I made these vows before God. What the hell happened? Of course, you can always, you know, well, some people you can divorce. Other people, you know, depending on religion, that's it. You're married, that's it. Um, but with that, people want to test the waters of their mate to make sure, you know, it can you satisfy me? And that's another problem right there, too. Okay. Okay, because I, I was going to go there. Be- only because 
you you had said that. Mm. One of y'all people, okay, yes, that is satisfaction, but that's not the only satisfaction that you can get from your mate. Exactly. That's just sexual. For most what about people, that's mentally? The part that what about physically? Why? What why? About financially, all that other stuff. But why? Why does You're that matter the that. most? Why? I, that's what I want to know. Why? Why does that okay. matter the most? Because you can, you can satisfy me, in more than those ways. Mm-hmm. You can come to me and be like, "I got eight zeros in my account." Praise God, you oh, just satisfy my financial oh, situation. <laughs> you better work. Let's, let's okay. Go buy that house. You let's, must, okay, let's go get and that let's, car. Exactly. You, better, you <laughs> come to me <laughs> with the finances, that you, like, that and you, you and, and now we have that backing to build and continue with what we're creating. You could come to me and say, "Oh my God, I love your eyes," and possibly some some way about the way you may say it may put a tingle or a shiver in my body. That really? just satisfied me. All down your but spot. you know what, too, though. See, on the flip side of this, right? You compliments have... don't do that to people anymore. No, I'm compliments sorry. do nothing. Compl- compliments do nothing. Um, but on the flip side, too, right? You can have that couple that has been married for, let's say, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Mm-hmm. And yes, you know, they got married, you know, when they were young. And now, 30 years later, 20 years later, or so, however long it is, you know, the husband's like, oh crap, I'm gay. Or the wife was like, oh shit, I like chicks. So that's why people tend to put f- more emphasis on sex up front in the dating world. Why? Because they might be seeing that their partner is gay? If you can't see the size of your man or your woman being gay from the first date, second, third, or fourth, that's your problem. Um, what about Portia? Portia signed an agreement and got paid off, you beard. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. She knew the secret before going into the marriage. Um, and she still took it and held it with pride. So I give her, and I tip my hat off. Nothing, nothing. What about that, that. Um, that NBA player? Um, I forgot. He's on the Brooklyn Nets now. What's his name now? Oh, um, we just talked about him too. Yes. Um, no, Jason Collins. Yeah, Jason Collins. Um, were, they, were they married or no? Who? But the girl. The, the girl he was with. No, she didn't, that was just his she girlfriend. Had, she had no clue whatsoever. She had no clue. But she had no clue because... Okay, and this mm-hmm. is a, a, another thing that also throws a spin into it mm-hmm. is because you have a whole lot of these DL men that these DL men, some of them, they give off the signs and portray very much that they sure. are gay. And you can clearly see that they're gay and interested in men. These other DL men, you would never know. And that's them walking down the block talking to them, having a conversation with them, you would never know that they possibly might like to get their dick sucked or, you know, like to take it up and get a little plunge. You don't know or that. Or do some plunging. Do or do plunger. some plunging. You don't Which that part, I, which that part I've never understood. <laughs> but I think that has to fall too, or they may be tranny lovers. And it's kind of, I don't want to blame the DL men, but it's kind of also has to do with them. That these women, and as well as us, gay men, don't really, really pay attention to those signs. So they just get in and do what they need to do and get out. Yeah. In and out. So how about we just now, can we live in a world where we're going to be, where everybody can be for you? Because I'm sick of these DLs. Well, I am. I'm going to say this. Like, I saw a post on my Facebook a few days ago, and somebody put up there, like, what is the world coming to? Like, every straight, straight dude now wants to be with another man. Like, there are no more straight people. Let me tell you. From the get go, he wasn't straight from the get go. So, (laughs) let's be real. So, it's like. Let's let's get on that. Why wouldn't you want to be in a phase? I mean, no disrespect to our heteros out there. And our have show viewers, but it is stated and it has, you know, you could go look it up for yourself, that your sex knows how to please the best, supposedly, you know. But there's always that curiosity, too. That's, so That's what college is for. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I guess that's why more of us are coming out. 
Yeah. But no, um, just that curiosity. I mean, you you know, you want to, you know, know what it's like to do this or do that or have this done or whatever. And it goes, you know, either way, straight, gay, indifferent, purple, pink, polka dots. There's that curiosity. So it's all about the dessert. Clearly. It's all about being greedy. And wanting the entree, the appetizer, the dessert. So let me ask you guys a question. Mint, the mints on the way out. Let me ask you guys a question. I think we've talked about this before, but let me ask you guys a question. When dating someone, right? Someone you like, you know, you're actually dating, not like just talking to. I mean, you're actually dating someone. Um, how long do you guys wait before you go there? Girl, did I put the... All right, well, since uh, nobody else wants to talk... Lorraine, back in... Uh, well, ask the question, so I can't go and talk. I used to, personally, I used to have a 90-day rule, mm. honestly. Um, Girl, that is long. Bitch. It is. It, it is. It is. It's a long, it's a long time, but Which when I, I was doing it, days. I was honestly doing it as an experiment. Mm. I wanted to... I personally felt like if I was dating that person and I'm with that person, I want to get to know that person. I don't want... Us to have sex because mm. the sex is going to complicate the situation oh, of our feelings so. and what's going on. And if we're not on the same page, and if I'm not feeling you like that, but the sex is good, I might be turned afterwards. <laughs> and I don't want to be turned because then I'm going to be in my feelings <laughs> about shit that I don't have to say, that I have no say about because we're just quote unquote talking and or dating. And it could be vice versa. Just saying. I ain't got time for that. So now, if it happened, it happened. If we're together and we're serious and we're real about this and this is what it's going to be, like I said, like you're dating then you. obviously the sex is just going to happen because that's a part of our life. Okay. Exactly. There is no time constraint put on that. Okay. You I, did def- I definitely I agree with that. I um, Well, I did have that 90-day rule. As well, at one point. Damn, I'm a hoe. Then. But I ain't never had it's 90 like, day rule. listen, waiting. I was there with you when I. Was I there. never had a 90 day rule. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, never a 90 day rule. It's oh. like to I wait that 90 day. <laughs> okay. I mean, 90 days is a long time, but at the same time, bad. it's like to wait that 90 days to see if that person is real about the situation. Mm-hmm. It puts a lot of stress on the both of y'all because at some point, y'all both gonna want to have sex regardless within that 90 day period anyway, and just to hold restraint, I'm not going to try and do it, but now it's like you just go with the flow. No, because there's other things that you can do. Yes. There there are other things you can do, but people don't think like that all the time. Well, they need to. Don't don't these hoes go to school? What? Don't these hoes go to school? Not Not really. You right. Half these bitches don't even got GEDs. Nope. Can't even spell GEDs. No shade to the ones that don't. But I can spell Gucci, Prada, and Fendi. Okay. (laughs) Quick. Okay. And can walk out the walk out the door rapping every fucking song. Mm-hmm. Side right, though, yeah. My mother and my grandmother just came into my body real quick. So what? See, for Felt me, that. Um, my thing is, and I, I tend to enforce it if, as long as we're dating, um, is one month, thirty days, maybe twenty eight, depending on what month we're in. <laughs> um, because not for nothing, like I want to. 29 on the lease. I really just want to at least have an idea as to who I'm sharing my body with. I need a first name. I need a last name. Um, I want to know when your birthday is. I want to be able to remember that shit. You can tell me today. I'll forget tomorrow. Okay. Um, I want to know who I'm who I'm dealing with. Because... You want the deeds. Not for nothing. Like, let's be real. Let's say, like, let's say I have sex with you tonight. And it's just, like, a quick one, two, three thing, right? And, you know, six months later, you know, I, I go have, a, you know, an HIV test. And I come, up, I come up positive. I'm like, well, damn, who the fuck, who, who the fuck was that I had sex with? I don't remember his fucking name. I don't remember his last name. Like, there's, there's things to think about. And this is why I say, and we're going to go back to this, and we really are going to patent this and create this. Mm. We need to go, and we mentioned this to y'all. You, every man needs to come with a man, man facts. facts. The man facts. Okay? <laughs> the man facts. I need to know how many relationships you've been in, who you've been with, what's your, what's your status, how many STDs have you had? Um, How many times you got vaccinated? Okay. For that Didn't same we STD. start that at one point? We did. We just never Your position, how, your age, the position you started off at, and the position <laughs> you are now. 
Okay. The complete man facts. It needs to be done. It needs to be had in order for things... Because it would be easier. Yeah. Then sitting up here, it would it would cut out a whole bunch of a whole bunch of people lying about their lives and their background. Bitch, you can't lie about your man facts. You gonna lie and say that you got into a, a car facts? You can't lie on. Actually, you can't. Well, you can't lie on it, but you can also omit some things. I mean, you can omit omit because you possibly have to the mileage. Because you don't no, you because you don't necessarily have to report every single repair you get done to the car. Oh, of course. So let's not. let's say you get to accident on November twenty third. Of but your accident would be an STD. Yeah. Well, but like some of them are, are curable. Not all of them, but some of them. Okay, so how many accidents have you had? So let's say you don't, but you don't have to report all of them. Like there, there is a loophole to this. Depending on what state you live in, they need to be reported. It's true. It's very much true. If, if we really, really get the man facts all get the way that CD, into, Get that CD. Get that CD. Okay. Patent by the team. Yes. Yes. For real. Yes, the man facts report. And no, no nicknames, because don't be coming up talking about you. Your name is Ray Ray and Quan Quan. No. Well, your name is... On your main on your main Jacqueline facts? Honey Bunches. Of oats? Yes. On your, on your or main Or Mr. Facts? Shake and Bake, or anything like that. Or Shake Demon Plunger, <laughs> none of that. It would, it would have to be your government-issued name, the name your mama, somebody, whoever birthed you... When she was on that anesthesia, talking all kind of crazy shit. Okay. So if your name is Bonquisha Loquisha, go ahead, girl. Along with your right. date of birth. You know, the real one, you know, with the year, you know, exactly. you're, you know your, your rising thing, yes. You know, with the sunrise. I need to also know if you've been in school, what schools you've been to, diplomas, certificates, all of that. Just saying. And that should come with your entree, not the dessert. Because that should be appetizing. Fuck that. Get it up front. I mean, it should be, because yeah. depending on how good the appetizer is, you might skip the entree and go straight to dessert. Mm. Girl, keep that 30-day policy in the <laughs> Okay. So, All right, so... So, I mean, I guess, I think we, you know, answered the question for the most part. I mean... We have. We said, you know, because we live in an and, Asian world. And then some. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Why is there so much emphasis on dating, <coughs> on sex, in modern dating tell us what you think email us t-h-e-t new york at gmail.com or you leave can a comment on instagram you know one of our one of our last pictures boom or that's t-h-a underscore t-n-y-c oh <laughs> or go to our facebook page uh facebook.com backslash the t-n-y-c and of course hit up our personal facebook's instagrams you guys know how to reach us there okay Cause that's too that's too much to go through. <laughs> um, just to let you guys know, it'll be in the credits. Yes, it'll be in the yes. credits. Yes, yes, it will. Just to let you guys know, we did mention to you guys maybe about now, probably four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, the T is bringing you a mixer. The T and Busy Productions presents the mix. The T Busy Productions and um, I Am Brown Productions. Excuse me. Oh yes. Um, we're still working on it. We're, we're going to bring it to you. It's going to be everything. So look out. Definitely stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you listen to us every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Liberated Audio, where we drop bars. Um, make sure you download the TuneIn app or Live 365. Go search Liberated Audio. Which and, is back up and running again. Yes. And that's how you'll be able to check, to check us out there. Uh, you can see our video every week. On YouTube. Dot com backslash. T-H-A letter T and Y-C. And, um, Comment. Like. like subscribe. Like, share yeah. the fuck out the videos. Okay. Okay, tell a girlfriend, tell 10 girlfriends, and tell them 10, tell ten girlfriends, and 10 more after that, and yes, yeah, spread it around. I can't. Yes, know. girl. Um, it's all about networking. Yes, girl. Let them, it let them know. Uh, we also, are we going to do the video that we did in Roosevelt Mall? Are we going to put that up for them? Could we still have that? Yeah, yeah we still have, have that. to edit okay. that one up. So, okay. <laughs> real quick, though, while we were on a break... Um, we had, we went to Rosa Field Mall and we did Well, well, a... let's give a little background on the prank. Okay, go No. Ahead. No, girl, no. You don't want to give the video away. No. This is going to go viral. We, we, we did pretty much did a prank video and we'll be up eventually, so. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, that probably that probably be only on our fan page though, not on face, not on YouTube. Just be on our fan page. I think we should put it on YouTube. Girl, be quiet. <laughs> you should send it. Shut. Anyway, um, anything closing? Oh, that's about Birds. it. Anything you need to say? You need to say. Listen, it's great to be back. It definitely is. We missed the shit out of y'all. Fuck. It's just good to be here. Period. Like praise, praise, praise me. Mm, hallelujah. You got your tambourine. Yes. Um, so, um, yeah. do you have a next topic already or no? Um, I do. I just don't feel like talking about it. We need to pick. We got a couple of topics that we okay. need to, to pick from. So, um, so we're going to do this also school cell. Basically, we're going to leave you guys now, and we're going to come back next week, and we'll have a new topic, and then I'll do that. And remember, the tea has been served. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Very, very, very busy. I've yeah, been very busy. On yeah, why? <laughs> I've been on the move, um, and just really, really banging stuff out and get things done. When I say banging stuff out, pause on that. Okay, I don't need y'all coming for me in no type of way. We don't do no things like that. I mean, I do, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, look, um, moving on. You can't even clean that up. No, because. That's just messy. I mean, it has been, but That's not in that like way. Jelly. It's just been one. Anyway, what at the fuck ever? <laughs> um, so more peanut butter than jelly, probably. Yes, way more peanut butter. Been than doing jelly. that. Got a new job. Um, <laughs> since you wanted to put that shit out there, um, and let me see what else. What else? Um, dealing, you know, with light drama, but light drama, please. It's. The reality of life, pretty much. And I'm going to just leave it there. <laughs> Deva, because I was going to go a little bit further, okay. but I ain't going to. Nah, so, nah. like I said, you know, my family, we had our own real life drama, um, you know, with the house fire and everything. So, you know, I've taken some time off from work. Um, and I'm just saying, you know, if you ever or know someone who's ever had a house fire and has lost everything, bitch, it's a fucking journey. It's, it's tiring. It's, well, who, I'm going to be... Just like real honest, like this past week, I mean, Ooh, girl, for that me, this is no, I'm not going that deep into it. Oh, I'm saying okay, okay. this okay. week has been up, an up and down week, and I mean, luckily it ended on a good note. Mm. Um, so you, you rode that real good? Yeah, I rode that real good. Surfboard? No, surfboard? no, no, no surfboard. No, no, oh, girl. Um, I think she's lying. I think so no, too. Okay, it, it was I, a I very dog cat. It was a dog. <laughs> yes. Who? <laughs> that K9 tin popping. But I mean, now I go back to work tomorrow to the dreadful office. But I'll see Teddy tomorrow. First of all, I didn't need you to go there with that. <laughs> That's first and foremost. Teddy. 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 Get the hell off of me. But since you want to throw it to me, I'll fine. Um. The Girl, past two weeks. He wasn't throwing it to you. Well, he just got chopped he anyway. Did, oh, okay. Anyway. So, um, the past two weeks have been heck. Oh, but were you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, okay, because if he wasn't. Wait, you, you, you chopped him. I, I know, was he done? because <laughs> the only reason why he opened up his mouth, but if he wasn't done, he was still about to be chopped right then and there because I was going to tell him, oh, well, you're done now. <laughs> That's just what Anyway, it is. continue. So, the past two weeks for me have been I'm gonna busy, very, very exhausting. It's just, oh my gosh. I got two. So I'm, we're, you know, things are starting to get back to normal. So I'm looking forward to, is it this weekend? For the the party? Is it this weekend? No, that would be next weekend. Oh, girl. Well, damn. I'll, I'm early then. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm back to work. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't know. I have to talk about. Okay, so I got two questions. I don't want to just Uh-oh. bring up like a, a, a sad moment on this. Actually, no, because those two questions, I only got one question. Okay, go ahead. That, the other question I got is, Personal team that I can ask you off camera. Okay. Um, y'all suing these hoes? Cause y'all need to get up, come up off them. I'm just saying. See, that is kind of personal team. Okay. See, and so, I kind of, and, and then my my second question is also kind of personal team too. So we ain't even gonna go there. We just gonna so leave it where it's at. You can just ponder what that was. Supposed okay. To be. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Let's get into this spot of tea. Yeah. Grab your cups. Take a sip. Do whatever you need to do. Oh, girl, you got a lot of tea. Oh, 
I got, I got a lot of tea. I'm mad this whole looking around the room talking about grab your cup. <laughs> I can't deal. All right, so the first thing is an Argentine woman dies of Vaseline. Girl, wait. Okay. <laughs> wait, what she Now, y'all know, y'all know. What's going on, peoples? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Again, no, 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 again. No, Just again. One time and one time only. That's all we need to do is wake up once. Wake up. Okay, thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's team, longer. people? I missed the hell out of y'all. We've been going for two weeks. We back. Feeling a little sexified, beautified. Really? Feeling real good. Are you throwing up on yourself like that? <laughs> I should know. Ooh. I can't. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, now, let don't me stop. Rip these. So, First of all, <laughs> you are not going to come for my jeans and me ripping them. No, this time I can come for Kevin. With yes, because I <laughs> definitely pulled the you. You did. It's all right, though. Yeah, they should just make an official name. I pulled the Teddy. Leave that. I teddied my jeans. You teddied your jeans. I teddied my jeans. Oh, I like that. It's a new trend. It's a new trend. It's a new trend. Yes. I'm yes, with that. Yes, ready for the spring of 2015. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So he's so far ahead of the trend, it's not even until next year? Exactly. Yes. I mean, I always kind of have been. You better do that in your fashion week thing. <laughs> you know. Um, but before we get in, I... Excuse me. Woo, woo, woo. Before we get in, we, the team, we want to thank all of our viewers, all of our listeners um, for the past two weeks. Um... Especially our radio listeners. Our radio listeners, the uh, past week you heard episodes that weren't current. They were throwback episodes. Um, we had some technical difficulties. Difficult Girl, let's, 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 let's be boom, real. Boom, 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 boom. Let, let's be real. So the reason why you guys heard <laughs> and, tell the and story. Story. <laughs> um, the, the throwback videos is because my family, had a, we had a house fire. And um, we lost everything. So... I had to take some time away from the tea, and you know my co-hosts, they were very supportive, um, and we're just getting through. We're moving forward. So yeah. Whoa, there it is. Wow. All right, y'all. So we've been going for two weeks. Clearly, y'all know we got a lot to talk about. Clearly. Yes. So we're gonna try to squeeze this all into like one hour. I don't know how we're gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna have to do it. Yeah. So. Thank you. Without further ado, <laughs> grab your glass, your mug, your cup, whatever the hell you got. Grab your tea. Okay. And remember <laughs> that discretion, discretion is the key before, before spilling your tea. tea. Clank, clank. Okay. <laughs> we, we not yes, that was right on cue. Clank. Okay, for the audience wanting to clank <laughs> with us. Yes. Clank, clank. I can't deal. All right, y'all. So... <laughs> We kind of caught up just a little bit with you, Diva. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Not, not just a, a lot. Just a little bit. So, not a lot. Let, what, what the hell has been going on? 